Good evening, everybody. Uh, today we are going to conclude uh, the presentation of our class that it was not possible to have uh, the record because of some internet problems. So uh, I have decided to have an extra video for you to have all the complete material in order that you can review it later. Buenas noches. Eh, ha sido un gusto saludarlos nuevamente. Como ustedes saben, la clase de este día, eh, lunes 6 de julio, se dio interrumpida en cuanto a que eh, no se logró hacer toda la grabación, ¿verdad? Por algunos temas de eh, técnicos del equipo. Eh, felizmente ustedes pudieron estar en toda la clase y eso fue muy importante. Sin embargo, pues eh, nos dimos cuenta al revisar el video que no estaba completo. Básicamente solo tenemos eh, una parte. Entonces eh, tuvimos a bien completar el video, sobre todo para las personas que posteriormente lo van a visualizar y así no queda, digamos, vacío eh, para quienes no pudieron estar presencialmente, ¿verdad? Me dio mucho gusto que habían 17 personas conectadas, así que prácticamente eh, habemos varios, ¿verdad? Que hicimos toda la dinámica de la clase. Sin embargo, eh, pues en esta oportunidad queremos completar eh, la parte que nos hizo falta. Entonces, eh, voy a compartir mi pantalla para mostrar la parte de la plataforma que vamos a estar trabajando, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí podemos ver, ¿verdad? Que estamos iniciando lo que sería la lección, eh, la sección número 2, ¿verdad? El lesson objective número 2, that says, by the end of this class, you will become familiar with common object language that people have in their bags. Eh, as I said before, we have different items in our bags. In the video, you can play it and you can uh, check different articles like sunglasses, CD player, a wallet, a hairbrush, an address book, a cell phone. And uh, we can mention also different materials like makeup, some keys, uh, and different elements um, like maybe uh, our cell phone that is there and other items that we may have in our bags. In the case of um, men or in the case of boys, normally they have a backpack and it's only for women that we have a bag. Uh, but basically the vocabulary is used for you to um, later practice the um, demonstrative pronouns, uh, these, and this, right? So uh, I'm going to go uh, in the class by showing you the, the meanings, the examples, and the exercises of this and these, right? The, the pronunciation is different. So here you have the video where you can see that they are uh, explaining, for example, this is a camera, this is singular, right? It's for singular objects, and these are cameras. This is for plurals. So in the video you will see that um, uh, we learn about contractions like it's for it is, there equals they are, what they equals to what is. So later we are going to continue learning about these contractions but by now I want to focus this part of the class by showing you the um, demonstratives. And, that, and after that, after you finish this class, you will be able to complete the 2.4 knowledge check. Uh, for example, what are these? Um, they are keys, right? So you will learn uh, the vocabulary first. For example, number one is keys. Number two, the CD player. Number three, it's a bag. Number four, it's a watch. Number five, it's a telephone, uh, uh, cell phone. Number six are sunglasses. So for example, what's this? In number two, you can look for and you can say, oh, it's a CD player, okay? So you check the CD player and that's the answer. What? And then you have to complement. For example, are these, are these, is this? We are going to learn later in the class that when we have a when we have plural objects nearby and you have to check here we are talking about their backpacks so you have to 
look for the one that is for plurals, right? And in this case, this is the most appropriate. So the right answer are, are these. For number four, what's this? It's a watch, it's a CD player, or it's a computer. So you have to go and connect number four, and then you see that it's a watch. So what you do is to answer, it's a watch. So for number five, um, what, and then the space for you to answer, it's a cell phone. And, don't, and then you have to write it here. What is this, right? And since we are talking about only one object, the cell phone, then we say, what is this, right? Uh, what are these? It means uh, closed objects, but plural. So uh, you look for number six in your chart, and then you will see that in effect, they are sunglasses. So you say they're sunglasses. And that's it. And then you have to send, uh, you have to check in order to see the right answer, right? And you can see here that the answers are correct because you have checked all the objects, you have answered correctly every response. So I leave you the answers here for you to continue uh, solving this. Uh, by tomorrow, we are going to con uh, continue with the 2.5 lesson objective. So by now, basically, I want to share my presentation that I have for you tonight that you see um, in order to continue talking about demonstrative pronouns. So let me go to the beginning of my presentation. And uh, as the videos in the platform said, we have here a singular form, which is this. This is an apple. It means that it is near in distance. You can see the hand here uh, pointing out the, the red apple. So it means that this is very, very close. So it's singular. And the other one that we are studying in the platform, it's the plural form that you say these, these, right? We have one, two, three. It means that this is plural, plural, but the hand is showing that they are near in distance. Near means cerca. And then since they are plural, we use the R of the verb to be, the R conjugation, are apples, right? So uh, in the platform, you will find these two, but I also wanted to show you that one and those that are very common and are very familiar and they are used the same as um, demonstrative pronouns in this case. So when we have a far distance, we use that. We are talking about only one object, but that is far in distance. Then you have uh, plurals, right? Um, they are far in distance and we have one, two, three. We say those are apples. So remember, when we talk about only one, singular, but close, this. Close, but more than one, it means plural. You say these, like you are smiling, this. So this, listen, this, a very short uh, I, this. And these, a, lo a longer sound of the letter E these this is easier it's singular far objects that plural far objects in distance those so here i have more for you uh, if you see the boy the boy for example is pointing out a sandwich and he, and he says this is a sandwich singular close object these are sandwiches, plural, close object. That's a banana or that is a banana, right? It's far, but it's only one. So we are using that far object, but only one. Those, those are bananas. You have here more than one banana, but it's far from the boy. 
So we use those, those are bananas. And here I have a chart that becomes easier to learn because you say singular near this, singular far that, plural near these, plural far those. And here I have a, a summarized chart that says this, that, these, those. When we use the words like here, for example, here, it means that we are talking about something that is very close. And in the singular form, we use this. For the plural, we say these. When we use words like there, over there, we know, we notice that we are talking about far objects, that, that, those for plural, right? So remember again, singular, this, that, plural, these, those. Close or near, we say uh, words like here, this, these. Far, you use, or, or, or uh, not close, you use a words like over there, and we're talking about that for singular and those for plural. Examples here, this book, the book is here, is close to my hand. These books, I have more than one book, but they are here, they are close to my hand. That book, it means that it's far from my hand, so there's a distance, the, this is not close. It means that that is not close, is over there. Those books, we have more than one book, one, two. There, they are not close. Okay, I think that these charts uh, facilitate or, or and becomes easier for you um, to understand the meanings, wh what we use for singular and what we use for plural, and then uh, what's the, uh, the right meaning of each one. So here I have more. In this, I want to explain you the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. So here, for example, uh, we use the demonstrative adjectives when we describe a noun. For example, chair is a noun, car is a noun, clothes is a noun, birds is a noun. So we say, this chair is broken. That car is expensive. These clothes are wet. Those birds are flying south. If you see here, we have the word, the demonstrative adjective in this case, modifying or describing a noun, and then the verb, the main verb, and then the complement of the sentence. In here, we are using it as demonstrative pronoun. And when we use it as a demonstrative pronoun, we use it for identifying someone or something. For example, this is my chair. In this case, I'm identifying something that is my, my, my chair, right? That is Peter's house. So we are identifying Peter's house. These are her clothes. Look, we are using here a possessive um, adjective, right? Uh, her clothes. Those are migrating birds, right? those are migrating birds so we are identifying the birds so in this case the formula is the demonstrative pronoun plus the verb to be plus um, the complement of the sentence and normally we use some uh, possessives right like my her in the case of this that is using an apostrophe to show peter's house okay in here, uh, we can see uh, the definition. Uh, this is the opposite of that, right? And we use this for people and things that are near to the speaker or to the listener, uh, as, I, as I showed before. Number two, to introduce someone. And later, we are going to see a conversation, the one that you already practiced in the class, it, introducing a friend and then we use this is my friend Peter this is my friend Maria uh, 
or for example when i talk uh, uh, when i'm talking to the phone on the phone for example uh, to introduce myself i can say hello this is patricia speaking how can i help you so i'm not say i am Pat i'm not saying i am patricia i say this is patricia speaking how can i help you so in these cases i use this number five with uh, in time phrases such as this summer this winter this week this year it means uh, times that are close right number six to refer to some something that is going to happen in the future or something that we are going to to say or do. For example, this coming summer, we will go to the beach. This coming uh, Christmas, we are going to celebrate with our families. That is the opposite. Um, and we use that for people and things that are not near to the speaker or to the listener. We used to talk about things that are further away in time or to refer back to something that has just happened. For example, do you remember that experience we had two years ago? Uh, so we are referring to an experience that happened two years ago in the past. So the time is not close. These, uh, we use these, as I said before, uh, for people and things that are near to the speaker or to the listener or to talk about things that are near in time. For example, these are very difficult days. So these days we are living um, are not easy. And those is the opposite to these. We use those for people and things that are not near us. As I said before, they are very far. Or to talk about things that are further away in time. For example, those beautiful days when we were younger, younger, or those beautiful days of childhood, okay? So we are remembering the past days uh, that happened before. So in this practice that you did in the class, you will see how Batman introduces Robin and Mafalda uh, in the conversation. So let's see. Batman says, hi, Mafalda, how are you? And Mafalda says, hey, Bat, fine, and you? Who's your friend? And Batman say, says, this is Robin. Robin, this is my friend Mafalda. Nice to meet you. And, and you? Hey, that's a cool custom. Custom means um, this phrase in this case. Thank you. It's my superhero. Remember this word, superhero custom. Are you interested in saving the world? Yes, but I'm not into customs. Look, we are using the preposition into to say I'm not wearing customs, right? And where are you from? I'm from the States, and you? I'm from Argentina, Argentina. That's cool. See you later then, see you. Okay, that's a nice conversation. And if you see, this is Robin, this is my friend Robin, this is my friend Mafanda. So I use this to introduce a friend. So I have here more examples. In this part of the presentation, what I want you to do is to please pay attention to how we pronounce the two words. These, like you are smiling, and this, a very short eye. These shoes are black. Those shoes are gray. This pen is small. That pen is very large. The time on that clock is five. The time on this clock is 11.50. That plane is a toy. This plane isn't a toy. This cat is eating. That cat isn't eating. Those glasses are for reading. These glasses are sunglasses. Okay, you, you here can check, right, the way you pronounce and try to correct yourself. En esta parte quiero pedirles que por favor escuchen, se escuchen ustedes cuando lo están pronunciando y sobre todo que hagan la diferencia entre these y this, ¿verdad? Que serían los más difíciles porque, de nuevo, ¿verdad? En la, la I del singular es corta, this, this, 
Y la I del plural es larga. These. Se ve como que estoy sonriendo con mis labios, ¿verdad? These y this. Los otros son un tanto más fáciles. Those and that. Ok, here I have more for you. Uh, we, need to, we need to pay attention, as I said during the class, como les dije durante la clase, eh, tenemos que poner atención in certain elements of the sentence, en algunos elementos de la oración. For example, if we are talking about something in singular or plural, and any other uh, keywords that we use, y en otras palabras clave, ¿verdad?, que utilizamos. For example, here, look at birds. When I see the word birds, I'm talking in plural. Cuando yo veo la palabra birds, sé que estoy hablando en plural. Up there in the tree, up there in the tree, arriba en el árbol. Entonces, it means, significa that we are talking about plural and far. So, for plural and far, we use those. So, the right answer here is letter C, those. ¿Verdad? Porque this es para objetos cercanos y estamos hablando up there in the tree, arriba del árbol, ¿verdad? Number two, are your books over there on the table? Your books, which ones? These, those, or this? In this case, we say those because it's over there, allá, allá, over there on the table, allá sobre la mesa, ¿verdad? And we are talking about plural, books. My umbrella is right here. And it's my umbrella, right here. La palabra right here indica que la tengo cerca de mí, close to me, near to me. And we are talking about only one umbrella. So we say this, this, my umbrella is right here. This is my umbrella. And I'm maybe touching it. Y tal vez la estoy tocando, ¿verdad? La tengo en mis manos. Those. Apples are red. Vea, aquí termina una oración. But apples over here are green. Over here, when I see this word, I'm talking about some, something that is very close. Cuando tengo la palabra over here, el here it significa que está cerca de mí. And we are talking about apples. Y estamos hablando acerca de manzanas. So we say these. Plural, but close. Eh, plural, cercano. Hello, Dr. Smith. Could you please look at, could on my finger? Could on my finger, on my finger. Significa que tengo una cortadura en mi, cortadura en mi dedo. So my, my finger is very close to me. El dedo está muy cercano a mí. So is singular and close. Si es singular y cercano, the right answer is this, right? Number 10. Maybe we should ask policemen for policemen for directions. Vea, policeman es un plural irregular. Cuando yo tengo policeman, it means only one, right? But if I have here a letter E, si aquí tengo una letra E y dice policeman, significa que estoy hablando de más de uno. But in this case, it's singular, only one. So, eh, Aquí por descarte, ¿verdad? Porque this yo sé que es plural y those yo sé que es plural. Entonces corresponde that. Maybe you should ask that policeman for directions. Eleven. Was a difficult test we had last week. Ok, a difficult test, only one. Significa que solo estamos hablando de un examen. Y entonces acá dice last week. Cuando hablamos de last week, is, it means that happened some days ago. Pasó hace algunos días, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's far. Está un poquito lejos la fecha. Entonces decimos that. That was a difficult test we had last week. Uh, then, number 12. How many cookies would you like? Two? Okay, here you are. Okay, para empezar vemos cookies, plural. Right? Y luego la otra palabra, here you are, significa que here is close. And then I see this is for singular. No, this is plural. Those is for plural, but far. But here it says here. So is this, right? This. 
So number five, uh, from number five to number 16, uh, you can work them at home. Del 15 al 16, ustedes lo pueden trabajar en casa, ¿verdad? En la clase 100% presencial que tuvimos, lo, lo desarrollamos, así que vamos a tratar de completarlo acá también, ¿verdad? Por si no logran ver el otro segmento del video donde estábamos interactuando, ustedes pueden ver este donde también están las respuestas. Did you and your family stay at hotel in Paris? Hotel. Vemos que es singular, ¿verdad? In Paris. And Paris is far away. Paris está lejos. So, we use that. That. ¿Verdad? Porque estamos hablando de algo que está lejos, ¿verdad? That. Ok. Please come here and look at picture. Come here. Ven acá. Picture. Only one. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Eh, probablemente, maybe I have the picture in my hand. Probablemente tengo la, la eh, imagen en mi mano. So I say this. Right? Ok, very good. So, eh, next, el siguiente. Aquí no nos marcó, vamos a ver. Vamos a cancelar y vamos a continuar. Ok, who was, man, who was man you talked to yesterday? Vea que estamos hablando de yesterday, it passed, ya pasó. Man, only one. So, the proper answer is not those, because that's singular. These, no, because it, even though it's only one, but it's not right now, it was yesterday. So I say that, that, ok. Uh, can you see? Fishing boats. Fishing boats means plural, right? On the lake. Okay, on the lake. It means that it's not here, it's there. So, plural, far. So I use those. Movie we saw last night was really great. Movie, it means only one. And last night, it means that it's past tense. So, it means that Only one and past is that. Okay. Cake is delicious. When I finish it, I could I please have another slide? Cake, singular, right? Is delicious. Is it means that I'm eating. Significa que me lo estoy comiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, cake, only one, and close. Es solo uno y está cerca. So I use the word this. Do you know? Person over there by the post office, person, only one. And uh, over there by the post office. It means um, that we are using the word person, singular, over there, allá, ¿verdad? by the post office. So it means that, esa persona. Do you think 16? Grammar questions are easy or difficult? Vamos a ver, 16 grammar questions. So it's plural. Estamos hablando de plural. So we say plural and right, right here, aquí, ¿verdad? So we say these because we are talking about this exercise porque estamos hablando de este ejercicio que estamos resolviendo en este preciso momento. So I have here an extra homework for you. You will receive the material. So whenever you receive the material, you will be able to answer this last part that I have for you, for you to continue working at home. Cuando reciban los materiales, van a tener estos nueve eh, ejercicios, estos nueve ejemplos, these nine sentences, for you to continue practicing at home, para que ustedes puedan continuar trabajando en casa. Ok, that's uh, all for now. Esto es todo por ahora. The idea was to uh, complete the class. La idea de realizar este video era para complementar eh, el inicio de la clase eh, que en, en su mayor parte, lastimosamente, por un problema técnico no se grabó, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, reitero, estuvimos 17 personas interactuando. Ustedes hicieron la conversación de presentar a sus amigos superheroes, a los superhéroes. Pero pues esa parte lastimosamente no se grabó, ¿verdad? Qué bueno para quienes estuvieron. Las disculpas del caso para quienes no van a poder esa, ver esa parte en el video. Pero básicamente eh, este video cubre todo lo que trabajamos e incluso tiene 
como aspecto adicional la resolución del ejercicio, ya que muchos de ustedes habían estado haciendo la consulta, ¿verdad?, sobre las respuestas correctas. Así que el día de mañana ustedes van a encontrar el video en el playlist. And please, if you have any doubt, let me know. Contact me by the WhatsApp group and I will be able to answer any question you may have. Si tienen dudas, por favor, me pueden contactar al chat de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, y con mucho gusto yo les puedo apoyar en cualquier consulta que puedan tener. It has been a pleasure to have this video for you. Ha sido un placer tener este video para ustedes. And I hope to see you in the class eh, to continue from 2.5 on by tomorrow. Espero verles mañana para continuar a partir de la sección 2.5. See you later. Bye bye. Take care. Be safe.